Well, what did you think of Sami Zayn wrestling Johnny Knoxville? I mean, how much time have we got? Ka-ching! Yeah, we could talk about this for... Uh, we do an entire hour-long show on this. Tom match. wants to talk about this match for an hour tomorrow. Okay, well, I won't he steal pretty his much, thunder. He pretty much decided that this was the greatest match in the history of wrestling. <laughs> and, well, uh, I, I mean, will, I, you know, wrestling-wise, it wasn't, but... It was a lot of fun. Bro, we were promised a match with Sami Zayn, Johnny Knoxville, and the cast of Jackass, okay? That's what we were promised. Mm -hmm. What did we fucking get? <laughs> we, All of that and so much more. <laughs> we got everything that you would have... And yes, so much more. See, I thought, okay, this Knoxville's gonna do a bunch of dumb shit and everything like that. I wasn't expecting the human-sized mousetrap. No. I wasn't expecting the giant fucking hand. I wasn't expecting all these nerds to show up and do spots. I mean, they went above. This is a rare example, by the way. I don't want to, you know, give a backhanded compliment to WWE. But they'll promise a lot of things, and they'll either not give it to you, or they'll barely deliver. Bro, they over-delivered more than maybe any other match I've ever even seen promoted by WWE ever. I mean, this was everything you would expect times about a hundred. And it was funny... And it was fucking violent. Like, yes. Jesus, Sami Zayn was beating the shit out of these poor fuckers. And they were beating the shit out of Sami Zayn. Poor Knoxville must have got kicked or punted or whacked in the head like 50 times. Another day in the know, office. Coming yeah. off almost getting killed by that bull. Yeah. And then, you know, wee man's trying to kill poor fucking Sami Zayn. And then Sami Zayn gets his receipt. Oh, he he did. booted this wee man right in the head. Do you wanna, do almost you talk killed him. about what you said about wee man? Yeah. Little, <laughs> little folks are scary. That's what you said. What? <laughs> what I'm not. What okay. Was your, what was the quote that you said? He I don't remember. Out, he came out and you said, uh, <sighs> These I, little people are scary. You said something They're dangerous. About, like, I don't like these little people. I did <laughs> not say I didn't said. like them, you idiot. Said, <laughs> and by the way, something terrible. Allow me to explain. <laughs> I'm not talking little people like the current term for the individuals that used to be referred to as midges. Hey. I'm talking any little person. I'm talking, you don't have kids, Mark. You're not supposed to you ever had that. a two-year-old that wants to jump on your stomach, but they stomp on your balls instead? Doesn't fucking matter if they're two. No. They crush your nuts. Or you're in jiu-jitsu class and, you know, they're doing a showcase and their parents are there. And you're like, oh, I'm going to let this kid choke me. Little do you know, this fucking kid's arms are exactly long enough to go all the way around your neck. And they're skinny, sharp fucking bones. Next thing you know, you're fucking half dead. It's the worst choke you've ever had in your fucking life. And you've been choked by grown men. It was a horn swoggle. You know the rep that guy had? Hit you as hard as he fucking could. I'm Golly! And this little guy, <laughs> Wee Man, holy it's fuck! It's Wee Man. It's not. They didn't smarten man. this guy up. He was like, "I'm gonna hit this Sami Zayn as hard as I can. I'm gonna try to break his fucking bones. Like this is gonna end up in a movie someday. So we may as well go all out here." And then you know, Sammy got fucking booted one too many times. He was like, "Now it's my turn, you little shit!" And he fucking booted this guy's fucking head off. Holy smokes! This match. You know what this was? This was a... They should have put on the poster, you know, for Tim Flowers where it goes mean guy match. This should have said receipt match. That's all it was from fucking start to finish. Guys giving and taking receipts. Golly. Just for the record, I've never been in jujitsu class. So I have no you idea don't what the say. fuck you're talking about. <laughs> you had me fooled, Mark. Yeah, I'm a... I'm, you also told me yesterday you'd never been in a gym. I found that hard to believe. Is that true? Look at this body, okay. Brian. Oh, Look right. at this body. Yeah, you I've had painful encounters with little people as a parent. Been... <laughs> you kidding me? I've been just... Brian said terrible things about little people. No, I didn't. <laughs> well, small people in general, you idiot. <laughs> Including you, I might add. Bro, we're the same size, sir. No, we're not the same size. Well, you got we might be the same on, height. Man, you, you, anyway, you what do you think of this match, Vinny? Talk about that mousetrap. <laughs> Well, this match started this fucking as, mouse trap. as every 1990s Attitude Era hardcore match ever. Just Sami Zayn hitting Johnny Knoxville with every weapon shot in the world. Stop signs, uh, probably kendo sticks, chairs, the stairs, whatever. Then it turned into a cameo party where all the knock, uh, uh, jackass guys started running in. Pontius is running in in his skivvies. Wee Man is coming out from under the ring. Yeah, apparently he lives under there with Hornswoggle, I guess. Uh, he ah, comes out, just yeah. beats Sammy's ass, body slammed Sammy Zane, and the uh, if you if that was the spot of the weekend. 
Somebody put them side by side. No joke. We man slamming Sami Zayn looks exactly like Hulk Hogan slamming Andre. That's my first. point. They should put those together in a montage. It looks like, like the, the beginning yes. of the show where they show Hogan slamming Andre in that video. It should now be We man slamming yes. Sami Zayn. So Sammy came back and he, as you noted, punted Wee Man right in the nose. Oh, in the Just nose! Right in the in fucking the nose. nose. Bro, the only way this would have been worse if he would have used his toe. That At least he used the flat of his boot. I did laugh, by the way. Pondies is out there and he's, he's wearing Speedos, right? It's smaller than wrestling gear, but it's not a thong or anything. This was and a French cut bikini, let's he, be honest. But still, he starts grinding up against Sammy in the corner, and Sammy is suddenly uncomfortable that he's never had a sweaty, shirtless man rubbing against him in a wrestling match yeah. before. Yeah. That made me laugh. So they do some stuff, and then the last act of this match, we went from the hardcore match to the Jackass cameo show to. Uh, a, 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 a Looney Tunes cartoon. They bring in a kicking machine to kick Sammy in the balls. Yes. They have a table with thumbtacks glued all over it. Not thumbtacks. Hey, mouse traps. Sorry, pardon me. Mouse traps. Correct. Thank you. Uh, and of course, the coup de gras, the giant man sized mouse trap, which almost malfunctioned. They Bro, got it into the ring. <laughs> this mouse trap, I mean, they made it out of PVC pipe. Okay. Yeah. This was the fakest looking stupid mousetrap you ever saw in your life. And the snapping action yes. was fucking slower than Mrs. High Spots. Mm. Poor Sami Zayn gets trapped into this thing and he has to sell it. He gets pinned and then he's pretending he can't escape this fucking mousetrap. I was crying. You know what this was? This was like Who Framed Roger Rabbit. It was a live action yes. cartoon That's from start one. to yes. finish, this fucking match. I loved this match. Am I the only one? I can't be. I know you I did, Mark. Well, yeah, yeah. I don't think you're the only one. I definitely liked it, although I don't think I liked it as much as you did. I was more baffled by the whole thing, but I certainly Baffled? Ate it. What were you expecting? <laughs> I was Hold. expecting I was expecting a giant mouse trap. <laughs> Why? That caught me off guard. I mean, I wasn't expecting I a so giant happy. mouse trap, but when you <laughs> see it, you're like, well, of course there's a giant mouse trap in Listen, the ring. And uh, it's certainly not everyone's cup of tea. I think we know shit. Pull it would be very polarizing. I think a lot of people, it would be, uh, your mileage may vary as per the, the review, but I give it a solid thumbs up. Oh, it was a thumbs up for sure. A big fucking giant oversized thumb. Craig, your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you check your brain at the door, this was fine. I did not like this. Oh, oh Craig. Oh, oh, sorry. I mean, God. just... I've the... checked my brain at the door every time I've come over here. <laughs> that's that's fair. Yeah, why were you watching this show with your brain turned on? <laughs> Especially this match. That giant mouse trap was a better surprise than fucking Cody Rhodes. <laughs> I mean, it was. Trap. We all knew Cody oh, was showing up. We didn't know a God. mouse trap was going to That's true. That's actually true. What a great time. The uh, the the table covered in mouse traps. Obviously, the nobody at ringside had ever set a mouse trap in their lives because <laughs> they go off very easily. There's no way one of these was set. Come on now, I'm not well, an idiot. Well, yeah, you got to suspend your disbelief. Craig. I feel like I'm listening to myself rip like, apart some pro wrestling match. Craig, What's this fucking guy talking about? Do you were, go, it's fake. Do you go to movies and say Superman? He. Uh, Men can't fly. <laughs> that guy can't is, fly. <laughs> I guarantee you, Craig has never made that noise. This is. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Dude, I watched a Joker throw that woman out the window the other day, and Batman jumps after her. He's not Superman, but somehow he fell 45 stories and landed on a car, and they were both fine. That's horse shit. This is sold as a sporting event and a sporting. No, it's not. It was entertainment. entertainment. They didn't even say sports in the beginning of the show. They said the biggest night in entertainment. Entertainment. I was entertained. Okay, if you're not going to listen to my uh, opinions, then don't ask for them, Brian. <laughs> Go, ahead. Go move on. Oh, it's all my fault as Mark is talking all over you. I am not. I am not. You're a Craig? horrible person, Mark. Craig. Oh, I know. Craig, go ahead. Tell us. Tell no, us. I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm muting good. myself. Right? Okay. Now, there was an incident last week where I lost my mind and uh, attempted some gory self-mutilation. Trini, stop that. No. I don't believe my own eyes anymore. What I, what I think I see, they're telling me I didn't see, all right? <laughs> but that's what happened. Okay, so seven days ago, seven days ago, he shaved his own head. He goes back here. I swear to God, his hair's back again. <laughs> well, like, nothing happened. I'm trying to hang on. I'm trying to 
desperately to grip onto reality. And every time I, I every time I think I'm there, every time I think I'm safe and stable, Duke Hudson's hair changes again. His motivation changes again. Something about Dante Chen. If you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.